that the video is now out and all the national shows recognize it. And it's uh, very well known. Well, we're thrilled because it was great uh, following your career up to the very minute. And now I want to talk a little bit about your career because that's this is Carl Morelli for Video Action coming to you from Hard Bodies Gym in Baltimore, Maryland. And we're very pleased today to be speaking with heavyweight competitor Mark Torello. Mark, you were in the competition at the 1993 Junior Nationals the other uh, night, and uh, we'd like to get your reaction about the show and how you felt you did in it. Uh, I thought the uh, overall competition was very good this year in the national level. Um, heavyweight was a large class, 32 competitors. Um, I'm happy, I'm not so happy with my placing, but my conditioning. I'm I suppose you did, but when Jim Mannion was calling out the uh, first competitors to be compared yeah. in the lineup, uh, he brought you out very early on in the comparisons. Did that please you? Yeah, I was happy with that, yeah. You know, it gives you an idea of where you're going to place. Um, but again, it really depends. They're, they're just trying to compare to the other competitors, and it's hard for them to, uh, you know, they have to really give you a good pose down to see, and put you up against everybody. With that many competitors in the class, it's difficult to judge. I can understand it being problems, but I was happy with that. Well, that was that spoken with true modesty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, really, you look very good up there the other night, and um, I think that you've got... I have my face is down I, all the time. Are you sick of hearing it now? <laughs> uh, I get a little tired of it, yeah, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, yes. Yeah, but it does get you a lot more attention than even your bodybuilding. That's true, that's yeah. true. You yeah. get a bigger version of uh, Sylvester Stallone, that's what they say. Although a much bigger version, because if the two of you are standing side by side, he, you would probably uh, dwarf him. Yeah, he's not a very big person, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any Hollywood aspirations? Would you like to do that if you could? That's not really my thing. Uh, I'm more of a laid back, kind of to myself type of person, and I enjoy what I'm doing with the gym and everything in the bodybuilding. Well, you are an owner of a powerhouse gym in Pennsylvania, is that Correct, right? Correct, in Warmester, Pennsylvania, yes. Now's your chance to get a little plug in for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're ever in the area, come down to Warmester uh, Powerhouse Gym. We'd love to have you. How much square footage have you got over there? We've got 12,000 square feet. Well, that's a pretty good size it's gym. Large, large gym, yeah. 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 Now, do you end up training at your own gym and getting ready for a show? Uh, it can become a problem. You get a lot of the members wanting to talk to you, and they don't understand the dieting mode of the uh, the contest. So, I try to, uh, when I can, get out of there and go to other gyms. It's better that way. This way, I can just do my thing and get out, and not have to be, you know, the owner and friendly to every member. Yeah, I, I've heard that from a lot of competitors who just uh, yeah, cannot train in their own gym. Problem it becomes a real problem. It does. Yeah. Uh, when you do train, do you use a training partner? Yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, training partner is Pete. It's not a bantamweight. Uh, no, no, he's a heavyweight. He's a big guy. Uh, does he push you in these workouts, or uh, oh, is he yeah. also competing himself? He's competitive, but... And being a competitive bodybuilder, you obviously are very deeply immersed in the sport. Did this come naturally to you? I mean, when did you first realize that you wanted to be a competitor? Uh, actually, it's the kind of thing that snowballed on me. I uh, started training uh, because I was just thin in college and wanted something to do. And then I, you know, never really planned on competing. Then the more I get into it, and the more I get into it, the more I want to, you know, go take it to a higher level. So it just kind of continues. Is it something you really enjoy? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of work, but uh, you know, you still love it because you couldn't do it unless you did love it. It's too too much work. When you get ready for a show, Mark, do you work very hard on your posing routine, or is that something that comes last? Uh, posing now at this level is important, um, so I, I have been putting more effort into that area, whereas in the past, in the local shows or state shows, it's not as important, but at the national level, everybody poses good, so you have to, you know, I like the jazz the music to use, because you can, you can pose more, of, I, I prefer that more than a heavier rock type, uh, I think if a true poser like Lee Labrada, it really comes off better, that way you can show yourself better with that type of music. Do you think Lee is a good example uh, for you in, in your own tra uh, training routine and posing? Yeah, he's very good. I mean, as far as a bodybuilder, he's complete, and that's why he wins. And uh, his, his posing is exceptional beyond any other pros. And uh, when you do choose your music, and uh, do you choreograph the routine? You spend some time doing that yeah, uh, before the show? Yeah, exactly. I usually try to work on it at least uh, two months out from the show and get it all together. Mm -hmm. Mark, tell us a little bit about your support system back home. Who have you got uh, rooting for you? Uh, I've got my girlfriend who's here with me today, Leah Pappas, who's been a great, great amount of support for me. Uh, my training partner, Pete Gallagher, who, you know, is there every day with me, and my family, my mother, father, sister is all very helpful. And then at the gym, I've got, being that I'm the owner, there's a lot of people that really are behind you, and they, uh, you know, they want to know what you're doing competitively, and they're there. Pick I'm up sure a piece we'll of their cake, yeah. I'm sure we'll find something. Right. Mark, we want to thank you for training with us today at Hard Bodies Gym in Baltimore, Maryland. We thank want to you. wish you the best of luck in your career in the future. We know we're going to be seeing a lot more of Mark Trello. Backstage.